You want to know what it takes to destroy Omen? Let's find out. Okay. This thing, I'm gonna pick it up and then just set it like over here. Yeah, I think first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the omen mounted. Then I'm gonna jam a hole in, hook a power supply up, get it flashing. Then we're uh, we're basically ready to roll. This is the one. So we're gonna put it to the test. This is what the module looks like. This is the solid. It's the solid aluminum module. The lens is stuck on. It's it, there's an adhesive bonding, like almost like a two-part epoxy. It goes around the lens, it holds the lens on. But the whole housing is, it's literally a solid block of aluminum. So we'll see how it, uh, how it all goes. Just setting the mounting feet. So this series is all about finding out the upper limit of durability for a FireTech Omen. So we're gonna be doing all sorts of stuff to try and figure out what it takes to destroy the world's most durable light bar. We're gonna be testing the durability of the Omen. We started with a hammer, survive the hammer. At FDIC we used a baseball bat, survive the baseball bat. And we're ratcheting up the intensity. So my friend from Herc Reynolds lent me a jackhammer and we're gonna get up on the roof and we're gonna see if this thing can handle being whacked in the head by a 150 pound jumping jack over and over and over again. And I think we'll see what the Omen can handle. Perfect. Perfect. Man, we're golden. Oh, I feel like I'm a NASA astronaut about to go to space. I am extremely excited about this. I'm gonna climb, go in it, climb out. guys, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but here goes nothing. Omen one, jackhammer zero. We're gonna keep upping the ante to see what it takes to destroy this thing. I think every light bar should be disturbable. What do you think we should do next? <laughs>